This is the Lenovo IdeaPad Z570 model number 1024. It manufactured day 11-11-17. almost had 11-11-11, which would have been kind of nice. I have Windows 7 Home Premium. I covered it up with this black tape to, re to cover up the stuff. Now, before I turn it on and, and stuff, um, and, you know, review it, um, I'm going to do a little rant right now, which I hate unboxing videos. Unboxing videos are stupid, and and it, it, reviews should actually be more like this. I've never seen a good review about this laptop, so let's try to do, let's try to do one. So I remove all the screws. There's three of them in the bottom right here, uh, and then four of them at the top of the panel. Once you get there, there should be a little lock right here. It should click. And you lift right out. That easy. This is the guts and glory um, wireless card right here. Um, the SATA 500 gig hard drive here. That's the BIOS battery. One 4 gig um, DDR3 memory. It goes up to 8 gigs. So I'll be buying the other four later on. Now here's the thing that people should probably look for in a laptop performance. Number one. Um, what you're gonna use it, it should always be number one um, top of top thing but what I think that most people should get it for is would be this whenever you you have you're able to access the heat sink um, and the fan to clean it out manually um, it's a good laptop unlike this DV4 that died on me see there's panels here but that's for the um, what is it this is the the hard drive, this is the memory, and that's another panel for, uh, I think it's a express card right there, I believe. Um, and the fan would be here. So in order to get to that fan to clean it out manually, it would have to be taken completely apart. Well, this Lenovo is actually one good one because uh, if it does get clogged up, because, you know, it does have the hole right there. This is it, it breathes it breathes cool air through here and it pulls out the hot air through there. So if it's breathing dust, all that dust is gonna stuck up in those little fins that, that are right here, that that help out dissipate the heat. It'll get stuck right there. So you'll have to take this out. And if you want to put new thermal paste, like I did on my my new one, I put um, Arctic Silver Five uh, in between the chip, and I also put a uh, copper shimmy. I think it was a 1. Uh, 1.5 millimeter and a 0.5 millimeter um, a copper, uh, not a copper, it was a, a thermal pad so it can, you know, have more metal. And plus, uh, in between the copper shimmy and this um, aluminum thing right here, I put the Arctic Silver 5, so that should be really good. Um, I What I did, what I don't recommend anybody doing, I took off the fan and this went up to in about 30 minutes it went up to 90 celsius I turned it off of course because you know it's it is damaging um, I plugged the fan back in and within one minute this heat sink actually did a really wonderful job it, 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 it took out the heat within one minute and then it started running around 40 celsius around there uh, without load, it gets up to like 60 Celsius. So this is a uh, and with within load. So this is, this is actually a very very um, efficient, cool laptop. So that's it. The the battery. Oops, forgot to take off the battery. Um, whenever you take apart things, please remove the battery. Um, I just took off the top. I really didn't remove any electronics. But if you do remove an electronic, take off the battery. This is a six cell. It only lasts about four to five hours. Um, I think I got it around four and a half hours, somewhere around there. So when they're new, you can't upgrade it like on, like on this HP. But you know, I went for performance instead of the life of the battery. This is an iCore seven. Um, it is a quad core. Um, that's what I should have said. It's an i7 quad core CPU running at 2.2 gigahertz. Uh, the threading technology makes it look like it has eight brains. Um, uh, well, let me get put this back together and I'll show you the inside. Okay, now that we're back, 
Uh, it does have uh, four USBs, um, two over here on the side and then two over here on the side. What it doesn't have is a 3.0, which is kind of sad because uh, i7 should come with the 3.0. Um, you do get this button over here, which looks like a um, uh, moon shape and a plus sign. Uh, what that does is the thermal management, it'll clean out your um, heat sink with the fan running at different revolutions per second. So that's actually a good thing. Uh, the one key touch, which is right there. Uh, you do come with this, you do get a partition, it's unformatted, uh, it doesn't have anything in there, so you have to create your, your, your stuff. So once you get it up and loaded it should come looking like this this is the backup you you click on that one it'll back it up to the hard drive once you have your computer running like you want it to run uh, system restore in case you have a problem create um, recovery disks in case of unbooting or whatever and then I also got rid of McAfee because that's what mine came with uh, I went with Malwarebytes because Malwarebytes is awesome McAfee hiccuped up my my internet so my internet was running a little slow sluggish but it did, didn't slow down my computer um, McAfee though is a piece of shit antivirus anyway so I took it off uh, let's see if I can DXD uh, I A G there it is show you the specifications and also load this thing for to show you the temperatures that I'm running with. Uh, all specifications are right here. Um, Windows 7 Home Premium, Lenovo, System Model 1024AYU, A uh, Intel i7 core, uh, quad core running at 2.2 gigahertz. It looks like it has eight CPUs, but I'm going to show you why that is. Uh, it, it, the Turbo Boost actually makes it go, go up to uh, 3.0. Uh, 4 gigs of memory, uh, I need to put another one in so I can make it 8 gigs because 8 gigs is awesome. Okay, so the video display, there it is, Intel HD graphics, uh, 1.6 megabytes of memory on that, so there you go, that's the information. You can pause the video if you like. Okay, so as you can see this one actually shows you the four cores because of the threading technology it has eight this is the full um, Intel i7 quad core uh, name model it's a second generation a uh, socket G2 uh, let's see running around about what 48 49 Celsius which is fairly cool uh, maxing out at 55 sometimes around 60 I've never seen it past 65 Celsius on load so when I render this video maybe it will go a little quicker so I have actually see how much is actually coming out of that with this uh, heat gun I actually got this from a friend that uh, I fixed his computer I fixed it for free this he and he gave me this heat gun um, I saw this heat gun and it's brand new I saw this heat gun and it was around a hundred and something dollars so let's see where we're at let's see if it's on Celsius because you know everybody uses Celsius in the computer world everybody uses Celsius so I'm Fahrenheit so change it over to Celsius and as you can see it's around 33 it gets about yeah 35 Celsius fairly 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 decent um, this is this is one of the HPs, the HP models. Actually, there's a there's a memory panel that you remove, and then two screws, and then there's like hooks up here. And this is one of the old HPs that they that they made. This is a compact NX6325 model, and the heatsink actually, you, once you remove the keyboard, you see it right here, so it's easy to clean, um, which is a must plus. On, on a, any computer is if you can remove the heat sink and clean it out manually you're set to go because those are easy to work with okay this one's running at 35 and it's like off look at that it's off and it's already running at 40 44 Celsius you kidding me and as you can see I am pointing it right on the on the on where it's supposed to dissipate all that heat so actually this these um it's a uh, AMD which runs a little 
hotter than the the i7. So see, as you can see, it's actually running cooler. And you can see, I'm using the the DV4 as a coaster because I don't want any of these hairs from my bed to go into the laptop. Um, other than that, it runs pretty fairly cool, fairly nice. Uh, good speakers, but good big ski beakers on the top. Uh, controls for your volume. Um, it has the HDMI. The keyboard is a multi-touch. Because it's a multi-touch, I don't. I like it, but then I don't like it because when you're on the web and you accidentally touch it, it'll make it go bigger or go smaller. <laughs> uh, so that's an inconvenience. But I'm real. I'm willing to deal with that. The um, webcam actually doesn't do good on this type of lighting. Uh, the battery, four hours max. I'm gonna say four hours. Uh, let's see. So the Novo brand right there. Um, the bottom is actually plastic. The palm rest is actually aluminum. Uh, the LCD is actually plastic right here, and, and the backing is aluminum. Um, it, the people whine about because it's uh, metal. Uh, it's it's metal. It's the the color. It's gun metal. People say it's it looks purple, but I'm not worried about the color as long as it runs really nice. See that what, the Lenovo very face or however you want to pronounce that that actually is actually pretty awesome which is that one right there uh, which actually re uh, if anybody tries to log in it'll it'll take their picture and then it'll record when they try to log in <laughs> which is pretty awesome like no don't take my picture well it, I got your picture now <laughs> so this is uh, cure my mind saying was this a good review did you like the review I opened it up for you for the guts and glory, which every review should do. You know, every review should open it up and stuff like that. I'll post um, how this video got rendered and this computer. I'm gonna render th this this review on this video. I'm not getting paid by Lenovo, so this is just because my HP died. <laughs> HP really disappointed me. So I've tried Lenovo, and Lenovo so far has impressed me. Um, the HP. <laughs> Even even though the I clean out the fan and and put put a copper shimmy on the GPU, put Arctic Silver Five, it still ran around 60 to 70 uh, Celsius and and without load. And as you can see, this one's running around 47 Celsius and it it just doesn't go up to 50 without load. Uh, so this is cure my mind saying, did you have a good time oh, oh 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 I almost forgot one more thing I don't use the windows um the 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 defragmenter I use the oh no which is right there I use the oh no defragmenter uh it actually costs money so I'm trying out the smart defragmenter too which is actually free so that's pretty much it um don't think I'm missing anything uh I finally put in the Camista studio on the top so you know, transferred all my keys over, and uh, that's pretty much it. Um, I'll, I'll provide um, how it rendered, what's what's uh, how how did it use up the cores, and and how well it actually rendered this video on the bottom video of the description. Uh, if you like this review, please um, go buy one. I guess <laughs> I don't know. I don't. I don't really care. Um, please tell me if there's another laptop out there that is actually pretty decent, similar to the one I have right here, so we can all know, you know, have different different brands, different variety of what is actually good out there. Um, if you want to get an old uh, uh, HP, this is a dual core, um, get, get this one. It looks a little old in Dynasty, but it is a dual core. It's a compact NX6325. It, it's not focusing in right now. I don't know what the heck. Anyways, uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, well, have a good one, and I'll I'll make a new video soon about some other stuff. All right, well, bye.